We all know that it's easy to cook an egg. I'm sure most of us do it and think we know, thinking, we think we know how to cook eggs, but really you don't know how to cook anything. Hi everybody, I'm Rashawn from Food Styles Versus. I'm gonna show you how I make practically perfect poached eggs from home. And then I'm gonna show you how I style a little toast and egg situation for a cute little breakfast scene photo setup. So you're definitely gonna need eggs. No surprise there, right? Well, you're probably gonna need a few more to work with than the amount of people that you're gonna serve. So definitely have a decent amount of eggs on hand, a couple of small prep bowls, a slotted spoon. This is a small sifter or like a mesh sieve. I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do with that. If you don't have one of those, that's okay. White vinegar, specifically white vinegar an ice bath, so a small bowl with some ice and some cold water, and a pot. This just needs to be like either a small pot or a shallow saucepan. And the last thing I have like already on hand and prepared for is a sheet tray with paper towels. First thing is first, you have to get your water pretty much ready to use. So my water is warm and we want the water to be just simmering not a rolling boil, just a few like bubbles in the water. And then we're gonna take our vinegar and we're gonna add it into the water. Definitely a couple tablespoons worth. However, the more, the better. I'm telling you this right now. So we're talking like a, a quarter of a cup, a third of a cup. If you're feeling frisky, do a half of a cup. Just put enough vinegar in your water that it's really going to stabilize that poached egg. It's not gonna change the flavor. So the next thing is to prep our eggs. And I'm gonna show you my trick where I use my tiny little mesh sieve or strainer. Crack your egg into the sieve. There's a runnier part of the white of an egg. And that's the part that's going to drain. If you can see, it's draining. The inner part of the white is gonna stay intact. We basically want to drain off this extra liquidy part of the white of an egg so that it doesn't create strings or debris when you poach the egg in the water. And then just as it's strained for just a few minutes, then you can transfer it to another prep bowl to get ready to put into the water. Each egg that you're gonna put into your water for poaching needs to be in its own individual bowl. This will make it so much easier when you're ready to put the egg into the water and you don't have multiple eggs, you know, fudging you up. So I have a whisk. I don't think I showed you this in the beginning, but I really enjoy using a whisk, but you could also just use your slotted spoon. And you're basically gonna make a vortex. Woo! You see what's happening in the middle? How it sort of like swirls in? That's where we're gonna put the egg. So just when the water dies down enough that it's still swirling, but it's not like super vigorous, we're gonna put it right in the center. It's gonna swirl that little puppy up and make a little egg nugget. Look at it. Look at that little egg nugget. And now you just wait. Be careful adjusting the heat. You definitely like don't want it to get too hot and boil. Um, but if you feel like it's too low, just like crank it up a little bit at a time. Um, stand here with it. Watch it. Don't leave it. Babysit it. Love it. Share your feelings with it. Encourage it. You know, tell it nice things because you want this poached egg to work for you. And I do only cook one, one egg at a time. I definitely think that that is kind of like the secret to this. So hopefully you're not trying to make poached eggs for a whole bunch of people. So I like to cook my poached eggs to touch. That lets you know like how done it is. Um, if it's still very like soft, then that means the poached egg is obviously like gonna be runny in the middle. If it's still like super loose and too jiggly, it probably needs to cook a little bit longer because we want the white to be set, but the yolk to still be runny. You'll be able to visibly see in the water when the white starts to set up, it will turn from that like clear to the, to the firm whiteness. And then with your slotted spoon, you can just sort of scoop that guy up into your spoon and you'll be able to tell even just bringing it out of the water. Like this one was not done enough for me to even bring it up out of the water. It sort of started to deflate and I don't want it to crack. It's tricky. And you can see that there's a little, 
a little piece of the of the white that kind of cooked and is making a weird tail um that's really easy just to take off okay so i'm checking my egg and it is still it's good i think we're done this white part is firm but it's still like soft to the touch in the middle like i know that the yolk is still going to be runny but the white is set so we're good we're going to take it now and directly go into our ice bath this stops the cooking process immediately so that your egg is not going to overcook that's a very, very important step. You basically leave the egg in the ice bath until the egg is cool to the touch and is like definitely firmed up and set. And from there, you're gonna transfer it to a plate or in this case, I have a sheet tray with paper towel to drain the egg. And there you go. I'm gonna make a few more of these. And then I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do with these eggs. All right, here it is. My same usual little dining room table photo setup situation. Here are poached eggs here. I've got pepper grinder. I've got some uh, microgreens, red pepper flakes, and flaky sea salt. And then here's my little scene that I have here. So two breakfast plates. So I've made avocado toast with microgreens on top of it. And then here's one that's already kind of done. Um, but I'm gonna build this front one here. We're gonna have, a, we have a little vessel for salt and pepper, and then I'm gonna pour a hot cup of coffee in that bad boy. So I just wanna kinda show you guys what it's gonna look like. I'm gonna take the photo from overhead. So this is what that beauty, that final beauty photo will sort of look like when it's all said and done. All right, here it is, all done. Doesn't it look delicious? I'm so excited. Can't wait to break into that for you guys. Thanks for watching you guys. Um, I think this turned out really great. I hope that you guys feel confident now to make a practically perfect poached egg at home. And if you have any questions, I know it's a little complicated, trust me. So just feel free to reach out. I'm happy to help. Make sure you're following Food Styles Versus on YouTube. And while you're at it, follow me, at Rashawn Marie on Instagram. We'll see you next time. I'm gonna go eat some egg toast. Bye.